welcome back to my channel. Well, we are on the road and we thought we'd take you with us. We are headed to Mobile and you can see the baby right back there in the back seat. She has her blankets, her treats, her toys, and we are headed to, where is it in Mobile? Is it a, just a thrift, what is it called? It's a uh, salvage uh, warehouse facility. It's got salvage, uh, like furniture and doors and different parts and things. It's got, uh, I think, a total of like 15 acres under little warehouses. So that's where we're headed. So we just, we came through a ton of rain. Now it's nice and kind of sunny. So hopefully I'll be able to vlog this. And this is Saturday, July 3rd. So we'll catch you when we get Okay, we're here. And this is Charles Phillips Antiques. Antiques. I'm so excited, but as you can see, it's starting to rain. So hopefully I can get some good footage for you. Yeah, that's what that truck was looking for. Uh-huh, I thought so. That's a nice house. Probably is. Train car, oh man. Oh, wow. You didn't get that out of here without a little heat forever. Uh-uh. Open. Straight. Straight. Uh-huh. Open Thursday through Saturday. She said it would blow my mind, all the stuff we would see out here. Oh, see those doors sitting out there? They mm -hmm. just sat in the... Right. So you would just keep going straight. Straight? Mm -hmm. over, this, up, over there? This way. Antiques that way. Okay. I mean, that's the sign, right? Okay, when we got there, we were totally blown away by everything that we saw. They have so many doors. They have items from France, Hungary, all over the world. They get items shipped to them. And I had to do this voiceover because they have l really large fans and it's too noisy. But just look at all these beautiful doors. Some have glass in them, some do not. I thought this was very unusual with the little knob there. And look at that, how ornate. I saw so many things I would have loved to have had. But if you're looking for a window or a door, oh my gosh. I hope you enjoy this. Look at that ironwork. I love it. But come along with us as we go antiquing and thrifting. And then here, I mean, they have so many different patterns. I was just... I really, I just, it just kept going. I think they have like six buildings. I love those doors right there. They, I wish I had something tall enough to put that in. I mean, is that not gorgeous? Can you imagine the homes that some of this stuff came out of? It's beautiful. That has the wrought iron in it. And I thought this was really unusual, that little piece down there, because it had stained glass. And some of it had been broken out, but you could repair that quite easily. But I thought that was very unusual. And then there's some more stained glass to the right. That was really tall. That had been something nice, and so had that one time. You could totally remake this stuff over and have gorgeous pieces. You might have to cut some things down as well, but look at all those shutters and those columns. I love them, and they're solid wood. And they're really not that pricey here for um, what you're getting. I love that, I thought. Look at that, and look how tall those doors are. I think my husband said that was like a 12-foot door. There's those big fans, and they're blowing air because these are in buildings that are open on both ends. I love that, the scroll work and the wood together. 
I love that. And it had had glass in it at one time. So beautiful. And then look at those wood columns. And then down there, they look like barn doors, except they're oval. I was hoping to find some barn doors, but I really didn't find any. Um, because that's not exactly what I'm looking for. And then they have more doors, more shutters. And these are oars, very long oars. I was totally blown away to see oars there. And then some more shutters. Some of this stuff, uh, most of it is antique and very old, but then they have a section I'll show you in a minute where it's new. Uh, and then look at all these little um, corner brackets and corbels that they have. I just, I thought they were so unusual. You don't see that a lot. And then there's some more oars. And I love some of those doors out there too so beautiful and look at that how tall that one was i can just imagine the stately home that came out of that would be a large and very high ceilings and i love these spindles you could make beautiful candle holders out of those and they had so many different types look at all those i was just I was in heaven <laughs> and then they have all this and their pricing they always have a D and then a number behind it and you read it backwards and that tells you how much something is but I these uh, I think these spindles are like let me look and try to get a good view of one that is actually concrete and then the rest of those are wood I mean, if you are into antiques, this is a great place to be. And then I was looking up there to see what all they had. They had that old horse. And here's some more. I thought that was very unusual, that wood with that little embellishment at the top. And here's some more of those little spindles. $25 for those solid wood spindles. You cannot beat it. And then over here, they just have more antiques. And there's the baby. And some of their antiques, they have taken and put them, taken pieces and put them together, like that piece, that large piece right there. Um, that would make a big, I don't know, like area in a house. But look at those lights. They have gotten those from someplace that has been beautiful like a building or something but I thought this was I loved how that little carving on it and then there's some more lights but it was sprinkling when we were there but it was very hot and humid but it was I enjoyed it look at that uh I just I was in heaven <laughs> Then they also have tons of glass. Look at that top, tabletop. Look at all this glass that they have. If you need glass, you can go there and get it. And they have presses of all types. And dough bowls. Oh my gosh. I was in dough bowl heaven. I mean, they had so many. I could not believe it. And then they've gone in churches and gotten stuff. He said they get stuff shipped to them from all around the world. But I love this piece. It is so beautiful. And then in here, look at those columns. Now that is solid wood. I don't remember how much they were. And then that has like um, concrete at the bottom. But this part is new wood that you can purchase. And they'll either paint and stain it for you. 
or you can take it home and do what you want to with it. And I fell in love with this area too. I mean, they have so many things in here. Not everything in here is new, but a lot of it is. I thought those big table bases would be beautiful. And then we go back to some more spindles. They have corbels. Now that is new. Just, ugh. And that is solid. I mean, that is heavy iron. Some things are from Mexico, Israel, Egypt, like I said, Hungary, France. Those are really heavy, like concrete or plaster. And that was as well. But just look at what all they have. And then they have antiques up there. Look at this mirror. Can you imagine where that came out of? Gorgeous. Now that is $18. And that one is $14, a smaller one. You just read it backward. Look at all these flower uh, sacks that they have. Oh my gosh. And then they have old cigarette items. And they have those big baskets for sale as well. And I loved these. They are so long. They're in different sizes. The longer they are, the more expensive. I think this one was $145. $125, okay? But that's solid wood. Then look at all these knobs they have. It's just ceramic knobs of all kinds. Now, in a minute, you'll see something I did purchase. Um, I really like that as well. But I saw these tapestry, they're cypress, and they're hand carved, no, they're, they're teak. They're teak print blocks for textile, and they're $15 a piece. I bought three, um, and I'll show you the ones that I bought. I bought those, I, I think it was those two and another one. You could either put, um, go like on Amazon and get some of those little hangers and put them on that and put them on wood and put them in your bathroom to hang towels on, or you could put these on wood and make a grouping. I don't know what I'm going to do yet, but I really like what they had. It was so unusual. And they do not have a smell to them at all. I got that little one, that longer one, and there's another one there. That one. I thought they would make a really pretty grouping, so I picked those up. But he has tons different patterns. I thought that was cute as well, but I didn't get that one. And then look at all this glassware and pottery that they have. And I really like those um, jugs that look like old wine would come in. Now that was Transylvania pottery, but and they have scales. But I love these little jugs that look like wine would come in and have that wicker on them. And then they have old shoe molds. That one was $85, that light was. Look at these bowls. The one to the right is 65. I thought those were really nice and heavy. Loved those. Then they have all these like, I don't know what they really are, some kind of sacks. They have rugs. And then that is some type of saw, and then that little case there. And then all that glassware and jars over there. Oh, um, that, ugh, I'm going to go back. Like, that is $28, that little grinder. Um, 
that barrel. They have tons of barrels, baskets, like I said. And there is their French clay pottery, $3. That is $40-some, that little one at the bottom, that little um, container. And you can see you go from one building to the other building. And this was antique jewelry boxes. I had never seen anything like that. And the lid comes up with a mirror. And then they have like old time lunch pails in there. I thought that was really unusual. And like little, looks like little milk cans. And then all that galvanized. And they have gas cans. They have anything you can think of in this place. We were there, I think over an hour. Look at this. That is, if you can believe it, $38 solid wood. I want to go back and get, um, these are like oil cans, but those glass to the left, I want to go back and get some of that because I really didn't pay much attention to those, but I love them. So I'm going to go back and get some of those. And then they have the seltzer bottles from Europe. And look at those ladders. They had tons of different types of ladders. And then these little um, caps for columns, more doors. So beautiful. And then there's some more of that ornate carvings more doors look at these baskets i love them i think i'm going to go back and get a basket look at that large one they even had old skis but here's some more dough bowl and they were pretty reasonably priced I don't remember the prices, but look at all these dough bowls. They have every size you can imagine. I'm definitely going to go back and get a dough bowl. And then here's some more of those baskets and those caps for columns. If you hear something, my husband's cutting grass. Now this came from Hungary and it has cherubs arched in, cut in that. And that was like $1,800 for that door. But that is solid wood from Hungary. They have tons of things, like I said. And they have little pieces that's been put together. There was an R and they had different initials. And there's that door again. And then we're into their metal and scroll work. Now that down there is concrete, very heavy. I couldn't even budge that. I want to go back and get some more of those metal iron things for your wall. Oh, that decor is gorgeous, and it's much more sturdier than like Hobby Lobby would be. I thought that was beautiful. And there's some more, and it was not that expensive. I thought that gate was really cute. Look at that so pretty you could clean that up it would be gorgeous and some of it's even pretty just how it is look at this door with this gigantic lock makes you wonder what it was on <laughs> but look at all this wrought iron i love it these are really like those are 38 dollars i love that 
Now, this one was 45, the one in front. It must have been a little more ornate, but the others were 38. So I'm going to go back and get some of those. But we didn't have uh, anything really to carry a lot of stuff back home with. But look at all this. I mean, this is just wonderful to me. It's really hard to decide what you want. They have so much. I think it's best to just do like we did, walk through, and then I'm going to, like I said, go back. I thought these were very different, these little ones. Uh, they're $25. But that way, you, you kind of like see more every time you go, I think. But this was our first time. I love those. Love those. Those were $25. Very sturdy. Look at that arch one. Ugh. And these, they just had so many to choose from, like I said. And like I said, that little rose arch um, ironwork was gorgeous. You could really be here all day. That was really pretty. It reminded me of a gate to something. Really like that. More of those wooden columns. And then more of this. Uh, that one like had a bow into it. It was like uh, like maybe the, like it went around the top of a window or something. Those were And we are headed into yet another building. Look at all those barrels. And that light. If you're enjoying this video, I would love it if you would subscribe and stick around for DIYs, vlogs. I even do a cricket on Mondays. I do hauls. That is gorgeous. I want to get one of these little benches as well for either out back by the pool or the front porch. I'm not sure. And coming up, you're going to see something that I'm definitely going to go back and get. But they have, like I said, anything you can pretty much imagine they have. And then down here on the end, they have beams, just big wooden beams. Like if you wanted to add beams to your home, it would be beautiful. Here they are. Love them. I mean, they are solid wood. I thought those were really cute. And look at that. T-A-N-S-C-A. Panscus or something. I don't know. It's really cute. Even wagon wheels. Those were so cute. And then in this room is some old and some not old. They've taken some old pieces and put them together and refinished them that you can purchase. And then some things are new. Um, I mean, are, are old. But it's just... Some of these pieces are very large. You would have to have a massive area to put these in. Like that right there, you can tell it's old, but isn't that cute for a porch? 
that, what Melvin's pointing to, I want to go back and get one or two of those because I love them. I want to put them, maybe one out by the pool and one out front. I Those, they just really caught our attention. And there they are. They had several of them, so I'm happy about that. And then here's some more items that they've put together and made so that you can purchase along with some of the old stuff right in there. That door back there, I'll give you a better look at it in a minute. It's really large. That is really pretty. That looks like some... Now, that has come out of a church. Um, but this, it looks like something you would see today. I thought that was really pretty. I That was $1,380. But it's solid wood. You don't find that much these days. And then that looks like a piece you would see these days. Now this piece coming up, I thought it was so ornate and this table. I really like this table. But look at this, how ornate that is. It almost reminds me of those blocks, textile blocks that I got. I know it isn't, but it's beautiful. So, so different. I love things that look different. And they just have so many cabinets. And this is a chair that they took spin um, shutters and made into a chair. And then look at that with the stained glass. This is an old wooden workbench. Look at that. My husband really liked that. And then back here is another very ornate piece that caught my eye. I thought it was beautiful. And our crock pot is through. But look at this. Is that not beautiful? And that is really pretty. I love all that carving. And those are the doors I'm going to give you a really good look at later. I zoom in here in a minute. Can you imagine where that came out of? Hmm. Now these would be nice to purchase and redo. Look at this old stove. I was so surprised to see that. I don't know why because they do have antiques, but look at that. Look at this old sewing machine and that. Here's those doors again. So different with the metal and the glass and then that wood. And these kind of remind me of little uh, cabinets that my grandmother had. Now we're out here. Oh my gosh, more wrought iron, more of those little pedestal planter things, I'm going to call them, and benches that I love. Those are cute too. More ladders. And the wrought iron even gets larger. And they even have those uh, bellows there. I think that's what that is. And this area is way out into the country. When you first go there, you think, uh, am I lost? But you're not.
And he said that what they do is they sell to New Orleans and Atlanta and different places. You're getting it wholesale here, but they mark it up once they get it in these different states. So he doesn't do any deals. What, what it's priced is what it is. Look at that. Now that's one that they've taken and made new out of. All these little hutch and kitchen cabinets. Now this green one up here, I thought I thought this one would be really pretty to redo as well. I really like this one. And then this green and white one. I loved um, that etching in those windows. I don't know if you can tell, but it has a real pretty etching there. I think you can see it better there. It's flowers in a in a planter. But I don't know how you would get the smell out of something like that unless you would just sand it and seal it very well. If you know, comment down below and let me know how you would get the smell out of something. And then here, um, in a minute you're going to see another wood bench now he really liked this one this one was in pretty good shape I think it was like five hundred and seventy six dollars and then they've put little shutters together to make that they just have so I really don't think you can see everything at one time because there's so much to see like I said I love this little cabinet um, I think this one was 300 and some dollars. Might have been more. Look at these. I love these doors. I even love the color that they are. Oh, I would love to see where that came out of. I told Melvin that when I went to Paris, Notre Dame, even these biggest doors, that their doors were like those stacked on top. It, they was so big and massive and beautiful. So you can tell a lot of this has come out of Europe. And then in here, some more gorgeous doors with wrought iron. And then they even have um, these little, um, oh, it's escaping me now, but trunks. Um, I think that one was $185, that one. Mom has some old trunks, and she's been saying she wanted to refinish them. More dough bowls, but look at these trunks. So so nice I love this white cabinet I can just see that but I don't have the height we have eight feet ceilings look at this this is the part that they have that's wood you can go buy this they'll stain it for you or paint it or you can take it home we could make a gorgeous table out of that Melvin just kept saying and I agree we could I might sometime go back and get a piece of that wood but it was like five hundred and seventy six dollars I think but for solid wood you can't beat that and you'd have it forever and then this is just some more of their little pieces that they have I thought this little white one was cute And then there's another one of those. This I loved. Absolutely loved. And look at those. They even have that. <laughs> Who would think you would see that? And those were so ornate and beautiful. But look at this piece. I love it. I love it just like it is. It's beautiful.
And then they have two of these little uh, ones like this. And I thought that was nice. Those are $675 a piece. But I mean, look, look what you're getting. You actually have something. And they had two of them. That reminded Melvin of Bonanza. <laughs> then we're in another room and they have uh, presses like apple presses and, and different things like that. I really want to come back and get some of these. Just one. That one is $90. Like I said, I think they're pretty reasonable. That one is $90. That one right there. This one, um, I don't remember how much that one was. And then this one I can't, I don't know if Melvin pulls it up to show you or not. I thought those two were the, were the prettiest. Oh, $85. That is a steal of a deal for something that old. Then they have the vintage uh, European seltzer bottles and scales and some more of those um, corbels that are concrete. But those have like plastic tops. Those were $15 a piece. And that green glass is gorgeous. Some more scales. That's old, you can tell. And then they even have these that they've put together and um, these little risers, tray risers. I thought those were cute. And then here's more of that wood that I told you. You could just get the bottoms and make your own table. Oh my gosh. I even love how it's so irregular. I love that solid wood. And it smells good too. This area smelled so fresh. None of the areas really had an odor. But I know some of those pieces had to. And here's some shutters. And then here's the bottoms. Look at this. That is gorgeous. Look at that long table that, that they've made. And then they even have these. Um, Mom has a, ones like those. Those smaller ones. But hers is larger. It's like a three. Those are gorgeous. Look at that, how ornate. I'm so glad you all could come along with us. And they've put this together, and I think it's really pretty. It's very unusual, and it's this gorgeous cabinet that they've built. And then they have those little... Um, like, uh, not buggies, but you put stuff in and pull them. And then there's a bell. More baskets. Look at that sleigh back here. A big old wooden sleigh. It looks like something Santa would be in. I, I just love it. And then they have an area that's just all um, mirrors inside of things. I love that. Look how big that mirror was. Those are pretty, those two there. And this little mirror, I have seen something like that somewhere, and I really kind of do like that. And then this is like they've taken pieces of the doors and made headboards out of these. And then some just came that way. But this is too, you can see where the door hinges were. And they've made headboards for queen beds and different sizes. I love that. Then this is more towards the front where you come in. All those knobs and brick molds are $22. And then they take crosses and, and make them out of ar architectural molding. This was pretty, and this tells you how to read their prices. You flip it. Tons of cute little benches. 
And then over here is um, some more little accessories that you can put on, uh, like hinges and things like that. And then here's the corbels they're showing you that you can get. And then they have their paint colors if you have them paint it for you that they can put on there in the name. And then their stains that they have. And I love them. Oh, I like the provincial and the medium the best. And some more knobs. And then those paddles, like if you make apple butter or something, you can use those. Old stoves. Look at, like I said, that. I think I showed you that before. Look at that large mirror. And there's the two that I'm going to go back and get. <laughs> and then out here it is. I definitely want a bench. Charles Phillips Antiques. They just have so many things laying everywhere. And this came from the Royal Air Force. And these are pictures. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. It really helps me out on YouTube. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, I would love it if you'd subscribe and become a member of our family. And if you subscribe, hit that notification bell and set it to all so you won't miss an upload. So I will see you tomorrow for a Dollar Tree haul. I found so many wonderful items. So until next time, bye guys.